Hello, welcome to lesson three in the PopFizz Roblox course. This is all about solid modeling. This is the second course or the second lesson on solid modeling. In lesson three, we learned how to combine the parts that Roblox gives us to create more interesting models. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to subtract the parts that Roblox gives us in order to make models. We will basically be cutting holes into parts. Um, okay, so the first thing again is we have a demo. So if you want, go ahead and open up this link in your browser and you can uh, look and see what we're going to build today. Okay, so here we go. So this is the demo. Okay, and again, you can see the parts that Roblox gives us, the blocks, the cylinders, and the spheres. But what we're going to do is we're going to subtract these pieces from each other. And one of the pieces that we'll make is this smiley face. So we'll make a smiley face. We'll also make a domino. And then we will make this bowl, this half pipe. And we won't be making this house. This took me a little bit of time to make. But I just wanted to show you what's possible with, um, with uh, Roblox. So I cut out the windows. I cut out the doors. Um, and, you know, it only took me, I don't know, maybe an hour or so but I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me close the demo and let me open up Roblox Studio. Okay, so again, you can uh, continue with the template that you had last time. All I did is I opened up a base plate template and I deleted the base plate. Okay, again, we're going to be saving the models that we make. So we're not going to save this actual, um, this actual game. Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to make is, well, actually what we're going to do first is we're going to see how to cut holes in things. And so we need something to cut a hole in. So let's make a wall. And so let's grab a block and insert it. And then we're going to change the size. And I'm actually going to start um, to label the pieces that we make. Uh, it makes it easier to uh, just not get confused. So every time, we, or most of the time that we make something now, I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to call this wall. Oh, and you know what else? Let me make this full screen. I like it better like that. OK, so I added a block, renamed it to wall. Now I'm going to change the size and the size should be, let me see. Okay. Along Z, which is, let me turn on the move button so you can see the directions. Uh, okay. So along Z, which is the blue direction, I'm going to keep it at two. Now along X, which is the red direction. I'm going to make that, um, let's make that 12. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good size. And then along Y, I'm also going to make that 12. Okay, now we have a wall. Let me bring it closer to... I wanted to bring it closer to my spawn location. And you can tell I have the snap to grid off here. Let me go into the model menu and you can see that I have snap to grid off for move. Okay, let me highlight that for you. So again, in the model menu, you want move snap to grid turned off. Okay. So we've made a wall and let me go ahead and anchor it. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and anchor this piece. 
And I'm going to turn the camera slightly so I can see kind of um, sideways on the wall. Okay, so we have a wall, and let me change the color on this. I'm going to make it, let me see, let's make this a nice blue color. Um, nah, I don't like that color. Oops. Yeah, you have to select it if you want to change something about it. That looks good. So I just made it a nice blue color. Okay, so now we have a wall, and what we want to do is we want to cut some holes in this thing. So let's get another piece that we're going to use to cut holes. And I'm going to use a cylinder. So I'm going to get a cylinder. I'm going to bring it over here. And hey, now it's actually rotated in the wrong direction. So I'm going to turn it. So I'm going to go to the rotate button and I'm going to rotate it to where it's um, going to go through the wall. And I'm going to change the color on this. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this a green. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I rotated this because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go through the wall. Oh, let me turn collisions off so I can go through the wall. I'm going to go through the wall and I'm going to cut a hole out of it. So let me show you. Yeah, so I'm all the way through the wall with this cylinder. And I'm going to make this cylinder bigger. So let me make it, um, let me see what size it is right now. Oh, and let me rename this cylinder. Okay. And then let me um, change the size. So 411, I think, I think a 422, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. That's going to make a nice, a nice hole in the wall. Okay, so I have a cylinder and I have a wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole with this cylinder. So how do I do that? Well, first, I want to place this cylinder inside the wall. And I want to make sure that it goes all the way through. So again, just making sure that it goes all the way through the wall. And now, what I want to do is select it again. And we're going to use something in the model menu. So we're already in the model menu. And let me show you where it's at. Oh, here it is. Okay, so um, let me highlight it for you. So right here, in the solid modeling section, there's actually a button called negate, okay? And what that does is that turns a part into a negative part, which will cut holes, okay? So we're gonna have our cylinder selected and we're going to press negate, okay? And watch what happens. There's a couple of things that are gonna happen. First of all, the color changed on the cylinder and then if we look in the Explorer, it's no longer called cylinder. Now it's called negative part. Okay. So my cylinder changed. It's now a negative part and it changed color. So now the second part, the second thing that we need to do if we want to cut a hole in this wall is we have to select both the wall and the cylinder. So I'm just going to select them both using a uh, holding the left mouse button and dragging. Okay, you can also control left click to select both parts. Okay, and now that I have both parts selected, oops, let me change this. <laughs> okay, now that I have both parts selected, what I want to do is I want to use the union button, which is right here. Okay, union button. Okay, and when I press the union button, you'll see what happens. It's going to cut a hole in our wall. So pressing union, okay. Not only did it combine both of the pieces into this union part, but now if we look inside of our wall, we will see that there is a hole, okay. And so that's it, that's, that's as easy as it is to cut holes in things. You basically negate one of the parts and then you union both of the pieces or all of the pieces in order to cut holes. Okay, so um, here's one thing. Let's say that we changed our minds. Let's say that instead of wanting one hole, we wanted to make many holes. Well, you can undo this, okay? So if we select the union piece, either by clicking here or clicking here, we can go up here to the uh, solid modeling section of the model menu and we can actually separate these parts by clicking on this separate button. OK, 
Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. If I press separate, watch what happens. Now it's back to where it was. There's a negative part and there's the wall. And um, now we can go and make some changes. So like I was saying, I wanna cut more than one hole in this. So let me make a copy of this negative part. So I'm gonna say duplicate. So I need to go back into the home menu and duplicate. And then I'm gonna move it, move it here. Okay, I'm gonna make another copy. And you don't actually have to use this duplicate button. You can actually just uh, right click and then press the duplicate option, or you can use control D, which is what I usually do. It's just fast. The keyboard shortcut is usually the fastest way to do something. But I'm gonna duplicate it again, and then I'm going to make another hole. And then one last time, I'm going to just do control D and then move that copy over. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to select all of these. So again, I'm going to use left click drag to select all five of my pieces, the wall and the four negative parts. And again, in the model menu, and again, in the model menu, you can just hit union and it will combine all of these into one piece. And here we go. So now what we have is a wall with four holes. Okay, and this is actually how we're gonna make the domino and the smiley face here in a little bit. But it's this easy. Um, the other thing you can do is instead of undoing the, instead of separating the parts and making changes, you can just cut holes in this piece now. So let's say that I wanted to cut another hole or remove a part. Let's get a wedge, okay? And let me turn this wedge so that it is facing this way. Okay, that's better. And then I'm gonna stretch it. I'm gonna stretch it so that it's a little bigger. So let me scale it. Okay, and now, uh, oh, actually a little longer this way. Okay, now I'm going to position it on my wall somewhere. And I just wanna cut out a piece. So let me see, oh, too far. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put it up here uh, let's say, actually, let's say right here. Okay, now what this is going to do when I cut it out is it's going to cut out this section, this little piece right here. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before where I click on this, on this wedge and I'm going to negate it. I'm going to turn it into a negative part. So I click on negate. Okay, and now I select both of my pieces and I do union again, okay? And now if I look, yeah, I've cut out that wedge part from my wall. So you can use any shape to cut a hole or cut a piece out of another one, okay? And that's actually as simple as cutting holes is, okay, and this looks, that looks good. All right, so we're going to stop here, and then in the next videos, we'll go through and make different pieces. So I'll see you then.